know these things haven't been easy. You heard about your mandatory meetings. I know this stuff was never your thing, but well, maybe it could help. At least that's what your brother wanted. For you to be better. I think you should give this a shot. So, what'd they tell you? Fucking court mandated rehab meetings. Oh, come on, man. That's fucking stupid. The guy was clearly shit talking us. Fuck that bitch. I want to see him try to pull up on us again, and I'll end him this time. What's that? You are required to attend the mandatory rehabilitation meetings held by Dr. Jonathan Lionel. You will meet once a week Thursday, 7 p.m. in room 166 of Hackeridge Community College. It must be Nathan. Yeah. Hey. Hey, nice to meet you. You ready to get started? Uh, sure. Hey, I know it's intimidating, but there's a lot of good people in there. We're gonna have fun here. I want to kick things off with a, a deep breath, so if you'll join me, let's go ahead and take a long, slow, deep breath together. Now, I don't think anything calms nerves down better than some tea, so I've had my, my uh, friend Ryan here prepare us a Himalayan snow herb tea today. All right, let's get introductions out of the way. I know everyone here is a little anxious, a little nervous to be here for the first time. Uh, I'm gonna help you through this. I'm gonna be your guide, your mentor, your teacher, Dr. Jonathan Lionel. And just like all of you, I've had my fair share of, uh, of bad moments. Um, but thanks to the people who ran this program before me, I was able to overcome that and become the man you see here today. So, start with you. Sorry? What's your name? Hello everyone, my name is Nathan. And? Why are you here, Nathan? Um, I hurt someone. I was drunk and I told myself countless times I would quit, but every time I was near, I got tempted and this was the last straw for me. And how about you, Williams? Hello, fuckheads. Hey, Williams, let's try to be respectful of all Stop. the other members here. Stop. Shut the fuck up. This isn't for me. Sit in a circle sharing our feelings? That's some bullshit. Okay, if you want to avoid going back to prison, though, Williams, then I'm going to need you to participate and respect the other members of this group. Fuck you! A little bitch in a suit? You little shit? Everyone stay calm. I think Williams is having a psychotic break right now. What the fuck you looking at? Ryan. How did you find me? I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, if you'll take your seats. Hey, Caleb? Look, look, I, I know that was a lot to take in. It's not going to be like that every time. Why, why don't we cut short today? And can I count on you guys to be there uh, next time? Yeah, I guess. Next time? I guess. All right, let's meet up next week, okay? I I'm sorry about this. Uh, feel free to grab your tea and join me here. Tonight's special is a South American herb uh, known as El Cielo. It's supposed to help with sleep. There's only two? Yes. Seems that Williams is going to need more specialized care for his temper, and Caleb unfortunately dropped out of the program. Uh, probably because of the scene Williams made, but I'm glad that both of you are still hanging in there. 
So, where's your cup then? Well, I'll be staying up late tonight, so otherwise I'd be joining you. Uh, but don't worry, I'll take mine before bed. Okay, well, part of recovery is about finding a safe space, and I'm not talking about just a physical one. I mean a mental one too. I want you guys to close your eyes and try to think back to a time in your life where you felt peace. I want you to feel everything as, that you can. Emotions, I want you to be in touch with everything around you. I have this bell with me. When I ring it, there's gonna be a moment of silence. And when I ring it a second time, that's when I want you to come back to me, okay? To the left. Go to the left. Small room here. Sheriff's office. Sheriff's office. Let me see your hands. Come back. Let me see your fucking hands. Let's wake up Scott. Ryan, grab the anti-seizure shot. Nathan, this, this is not a big deal. Uh, this is just epilepsy. We, we knew about this. It was on his file, so that's why I had Ryan save some of his medication for him. In fact, why don't we give them some privacy? You and me step out, work one-on-one. -on -one. Um, Scott's going to be just A-OK. -okay. What's happening? Nathan, you have to understand, um, most of the people here have underlying health conditions and under certain circumstances, things like that, that very rare, okay? That's not gonna happen every time. Um, are you saying these people are allergic to the teas? The tea? No, no, there's nothing wrong with the tea. You've been drinking the tea, I've been drinking the tea. Scott had the tea last week and was fine. Caleb had the tea. Don't worry about the tea. It's just, people like Williams, people like Scott, this, this sort of stuff can happen at the drop of a hat. Anything can trigger it. But I checked your file. You have no underlying health conditions to worry about, right? So I tell you what, I'm going to get Scott the same specialized care that Williams is getting, and it'll just be you and me from now on, okay? It'll be a lot easier. Just one-on-one. -on -one. You think we can keep meeting up? I, I suppose that's fine. I can count on you to be here next week? Yeah. Okay, come on, let's get better. Don't, don't you worry about that. Okay. Hey Ryan, why don't you take off early tonight? I'm, I'm not going to have much for you. It's going to be just me and myself. If you want to leave me the syringes, you can head on home, okay? Thank you, Doctor. Alright, first off, you got to chill, dude. Me. Fucking chill. Just gotta stop yelling. What the fuck is wrong with you? Nathan, something's wrong. Very wrong. What are you talking about? Why weren't you at the program today? Okay, okay, see, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So, you just gotta trust me on this one. I looked up this doctor guy. There's no, pub there's no public records on him. He doesn't even fucking exist. He's a goddamn ghost. And people are just saying that Williams just died of an overdose? Some junkie just died of a fucking overdose? I mean, like, Oh, God damn, I saw the man act strange, but I mean, I knew the man had a temper, but he was like way, way fucking off. And I mean, he would never, never act that way. And 
I mean, dude, after I had that tea, I mean, I felt pretty strange myself. There's gotta be something wrong with those teas. So you gotta trust me on this one. I have a plan, but you don't have much time. Nathan, good to see you. Yeah. Um, sorry, I had a bit of car trouble, um, but I'm ready and I'm here now. As long as you're ready to get started, that's all that matters. Why don't you try some tea? What's tonight special? Well, I'm glad you asked. Actually, it's my favorite tea. You see, see a long time ago, there were these two African tribes, always at war with each other as far back as either one could remember. And one day, these European colonizers came from over the sea, and the, the tribes found themselves quickly overpowered. But the chiefs were able to unite their people with this special herb. Um, this herb had mysticism surrounding it from both tribes. Each tribe saw it as a representation of a rebirth, new beginnings. And it's actually what the tea that we're about to drink is made out of. So, what happened to the people? Well, they united against the Europeans and, uh, and overthrew them. Uh, you should get your tea before it gets cold. <laughs> 